Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have something actually pretty cool to go and talk about when it comes to the Sony and PlayStation ecosphere, because we actually have an official post right now on the PlayStation blog itself, showcasing up and highlighting up all the brand new information in regards to the PSVR 2, as you guys can probably go tell by the title, or also by like the thumbnail itself. In all honesty, this is actually shaping up to be way, way better than expected, with also even new kind of cool updates and even a better iteration than the very first one, you know, compares to to PSVR 2 to PSVR 1 and overall this actually might be a lot of folks very first push into VR gaming and as well something I think I'm going to be by myself so first and foremost before we fully dive into the brand new information because there's just a really big kind of info dump of all the stuff cool that's been posted up there and I love seeing the stuff I always think it's really cool because I like seeing it from the official sources because that's where you get the best facts the best of information and overall it's just kind of cool I'm very excited for this one so if you guys are planning on buying one down below leave your comments and thoughts down below Below. If you guys are on the middle or still just trying to go find a PS5 yourself, also leave your thoughts and comments down below too as well. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow, the Weeble and Coinbase if you guys want those easy affiliate stuff, and always the Amazon links down below. Let's go and dive into the actual recap and retalk and all the stuff over here for the very first looks on that PlayStation VR 2. So, like I said, this is on the official sources as of a little bit earlier on today, and I really want to go and talk about it because it just seems really, really cool. So, we have the blog post as of officially right here mixed on in which is obviously the first look at the headset design for the playstation vr2 which so this will probably be my thumbnail anyway it's just kind of an easy picture to go showcase up but oh my good golly this is looking almost like a weird futuristic design where if you guys would have shown me this in like the 2000s when i was younger i would have been like yo this is probably from like you know the 20 2040s 2050s it looks very sleek it looks very nice looks very aerodynamic and there's also been a lot more improvements to as well so the inspiration behind the latest vr hardware design so today, I'm especially pleased to reveal the stunning new design of our generation VR headset, the PlayStation VR 2, together with an update and more of a final design image. So this is basically like all the, the more official and what they're more so leaning towards for their final thing to go and sell to you guys for the uh, VR 2 Sense controller. You'll notice the PSVR 2 headset has a similar shape as the PSVR 2 Sense controller, taking on a matching orb look, which I think actually looks kind of intriguing. It almost looks like a clock or like a steering wheel, in all honesty. Uh, almost looks like a weird like Tesla wheel, to be fully honest. So with this one, is just like cool, like cool looking, cool updates when it comes to try to like fine tuning it a little bit more. The circular orb shape represents the 360 degree view that players feel when they enter the virtual reality world. So the shape captures it nicely. So it's kind of like a metaphor if you think about if you're in a VR, you could look to the left, you could look to the right, you could look up, down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're trying their best to kind of mimic that when it comes to holding the controller and like you know, using the controller in general, which is very, very nifty to go and see. The design of the PSVR 2 headset was also inspired by the look of the PS5 family of products. When our design team created the PS5 console, they also had the next generation VR headset in mind, so you'll also notice some similarities in the look and feel. The PS5 console itself, you know, they got a little bad boy right here, has flat edges that is meant to be displayed on a flat surface. While there was a more emphasis on adding roundness to the design of the PSVR headset too, since it's meant to have a constant human contact, so the round edges of the DualSense controller and Pulse 3, the uh, 3D headset, which I do also want to go make a side note. I do love the idea that they're basically trying their best to go and have like a seamless product from start to finish. So I'm sure there was talks in like 2017 when they're making the PlayStation 5, how they want to design it. And then probably 20, 2018, let's go and make the PSVR 2 headset. And I love how it's a similar scheme. If you guys see the baseline colors of the black and gray, like that little black, gray and white, and just overall looks and feels like kind of like a fancy proper product. Think like Apple where they're trying to steamline everything everything make it all very similar that very nice good consistency throughout the whole entire company so because their goal is also to create a headset that will not only become an attractive part of your living room decor i'm gonna probably have mine my nice little you know my little setup over here my streaming youtube setup by the way i always follow the twitter and twitch if you guys want but it will also keep you immersed in your game world to the point where you almost forget that you're using a headset or a controller which I think is always really kind of cool because I think like that's actually one of their bigger features they might go cover in a second is that they actually try to streamline this and even make the weight even smaller than in comparison to the very first PSVR, although with also better tech. 
That's why we paid a very close attention to the ergonomics of the headset and conducted extensive testing to ensure a comfortable feel for a variety of head sizes, which is also very nice to see that they're trying their best to make sure everything is all flatline, all very consistent, one size fits all. Because at the end of the day, like people do have different shaped heads. Some people are smaller, some people have different hair. I mean, like that's just how it is, you know, just how the world is. So they already had a lot of also good feedback too, which is always nice to see on the ergonomics on the very first PSVR headset by carefully balancing the headset weight and having a simple headband that can be adjusted. So they basically kept it very similar and very easy for the PSVR 2 headset. Other features such as the headset's adjustable scope that places the scope area closer or further away from the face in placement of the stereo headphone jack also remain the same. So if you guys ever did have the very first PSVR, you guys have a very similar experience, just more stream like st streamlined and also a bit more on the chiller side, which is very nice to see. So. For the PSVR 2 headset, we took comfort a few steps now even further. So these are now brand new features and new things they want to go and add to essentially make the whole VR experience better. And I always will stand by this. I love this because I like it when we're pushing the next gen VR side because we want things to be easy. We want them to be very like just very accessible and very also cheap to go and buy and just also have good games and game companies so people have a good excuse to use VR besides doing the naughty naughty. So basically with this, they've also added new features such as lens adjustment dials. So users have additional options to match the lens distance between their eyes to optimize their view. We also then created a slimmer design. And this is the biggest thing with a slight weight reduction. Jeez. <laughs> Even with the new added features such as the new built-in motor for the headset feedback. So basically for them, they literally made the entire headset, especially in comparison to PSVR 1, slimmer. So this is like all brand new updates. So this is even better. So it weighs less, is slimmer, has new features, has a literal motor inside of it, and also adjustable lenses. So this is actually kind of huge because these are big changes that are also more streamlined changes. And there's not really many times out there for a company where they'll go and basically be like, hey, here's something brand, brand new, but also we even made, we spend a little extra more time and try to streamline it just a little bit more so it could even be even better for when you guys go and buy it. And I, I sometimes I'll go and sass Sony or PlayStation for various random updates. This in particular is awesome. I love to see this. So basically this one, it was basically also stating it was quite a challenge to create a slimmer design with new features added to improve upon our first headset, but our design and engineering teams proved that this could be possible when we finally saw the final design. So basically they were like 80% done and then they were able to even go once again, take the next, next step and make it even more fine tuned and even better. And this is why I love the idea of PSVR 2 and why I want to get one is because I just feel like this would be the good mainstream gaming adaptation to basically VR. And I do think a company like Sony especially with how good their first party titles are especially if they have like a vr department can make some really good games so additionally they also added a new vent design for the psvr2 headset that they think that users will enjoy yujin morasawa senior art director at uh, sony has led that his headset design of psvr2 and explains why this is the most absolute favorite part of the design when I first started to work on the design for the PlayStation VR 2 headset, one of the areas I wanted to focus on first was the idea of creating a vent in the headset to let air out, similar to the vents on the PS5 console that allows airflow. Our engineers came up with this idea as a good way to allow ventilation and avoid having the lens fog up while many players are immersed in their VR games. I worked on many design concepts to achieve this, and in the final design, you can see that there is little space in between the top and the front surface of the scope that contains the integrated ventilation. I am really proud of how this turned out and the positive feedback I've gotten so far. Hope our PlayStation fans will also agree, and I can't wait for them to try it on out. And then another treat they wanted to go and share as we wind down the video, similar to the thousands of tiny PlayStation symbols that they added on the design of the PS5 console and DualSense controller, we also included tiny PlayStation symbols to the front and the back bands of the PSVR2 headset to add a comfortable feel for players to enjoy. I always want to say it's always very adorable and cute to go and see that, and I love how they integrate that like kind of branding and system to their consoles. When the PSVR2 launches, it'll take a giant leap forward in the way we play games in virtual reality. There are plenty of exciting new features to look forward to in the PSVR2 system, which I love to go and see, including stunning visual fidelity in 4K HDR and state-of-art graphical rendering, enhanced tracking such as inside-out camera tracking, 
new PS uh, PS PlayStation VR 2 Sense technology features such as headset feedback, and we kind of cover this a little bit more in depth on previous videos, and the new intuitive PS VR 2 Sense controller that also increased like they they basically done a lot of big features on top of what they also even gave for today in this big major update. Uh, basically for that one, so it has the nice deep feeling of immersion, and then additionally the PS2 VR system comes in a simple single cord, which I still think is one of the coolest features out there when it comes to the console itself. Like that just makes everything so much more efficient on top of it. So basically just go play your games instantly. The PSVR 2 development kits are already in the hands of game creators and they're already making games, working on games. And I'm so excited for this to be finally coming on out too as well. Now we'll probably have a few more updates from this, especially from PlayStation themselves. But as I mentioned, are you guys going to be trying to go buy one, trying to find one? I might even do some restock stuff if there's a big demand for it on the channel itself. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch as well link down below and then sign up for that weeble sign up for that coinbase and overall i'm just excited to get to see some pretty cool features and we'll have more videos off throughout the rest of today love you guys